Yo, what is good everybody? It's your boy Golden, Golden Falls, Golden What If, whatever you want to call me. And I am back with a brand new What If. What if Tanjiro was Kurama's Jinjuriki? And I, and this is the movie obviously, and I am super, 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 super excited about this What If. Sorry that it did take a little bit longer than I wanted. I really got... Hopefully you guys can see that I got a little bit unique in there uh, with some things. And with some of the, the story writing. But um, I'm going to tell you guys this off the rip. So I don't forget at the end. That this will only be going to the end of the anime. So that movie that came out. That will be where I'm ending. But... If this video gets enough support and I get enough comments in the section that they go that I just want you guys to literally everybody whatever you normally comment or if you normally comment comment that you want this into the manga okay and if you want it if we want it that badly and I see a bunch of comments that goes that says yes send it to the manga go into the manga go into the manga all, along with all the, the other normal comments that you guys usually put I will do this as soon as possible because I will be honest with you, I've had so much fun with this what if so far and just writing it. I'm just recording it now, but just writing it. I've had a lot of fun. All right. Well, I'm going to leave it at that. Enough. Of, like I just talked for like two minutes. I'm sorry. But we will get right into this what if right now. Let's get it. A long, long time ago. The world we know as a place of peace was, dis was disturbed by what people call the tailed beasts. It is said that the tailed beasts were here to maintain peace in the world, but they went berserk, and even to this day, people seek to control their power. These beasts, though, have seemingly gone dormant, and many say that they were sealed in people like vessels. But others say they all died off throughout the years. But one thing that very few people actually know is that one of those tailed beasts live within a young man by the name of Tanjiro Kamado. This beast is known as the nine-tailed fox that despises humans. But it's said that people with the power of the sun has passed down the containment of this nine-tailed fox for centuries. Honey, you don't have to go. You don't have to go sell coal today. There, there's so much snow. I know, Mom, but I want to give everyone an amazing New Year. Plus, everything should be fine. Big brother, big brother, can we come with you? I'm sorry, but I have to go by myself this time. But I will make sure to bring home something for you, okay? Tondro then leaves to the town near him to sell coal, getting a lot of people to actually buy coal from him. But he also began to help others who also just needed his help in general, taking up a lot of time and even going into the night. As night approached and he began up the mountain, a man stopped him, telling him that it's not safe to travel at night and that there are demons around. Tondro listened and stayed overnight. Tondro then began to dream. He begins to walk up to a massive cage, like looking cage, and he sees two giant eyes appear. Who, who's there? I'll be seeing you soon, Tondro Kamado. Tondro wakes up in the morning as if he was in complete shock and terror. What the hell was that? Tondro then begins to head up the mountain, and on his way up, he begins to smell blood. He begins to run, and run, and run. He then sees his family, all dead. But then when he looks, he looks down, he sees his sister, seemingly still alive. He picks her up and begins to try and run, to help, to get help, until he falls off the mountain, and she begins to attack him. Out of nowhere, a person with a sword takes a slash at Nezuko. While Tadro tries to protect her. My job is to kill my job is to kill demons, kid, and she's a demon. 
No, please. She's my she's my sister. Don't kill her. The man takes Nezuko and yells at Tanjiro, telling him to stand and fight for himself, and begging in this world means nothing. The man by the name of Tomioka tells him to strike him with everything he has. Tanjiro Kamado, I can help you as long as you help me. Wh what How? How could you do that? I'll show you. Tanjiro's body begins to be covered in a red looking aura. His eyes turn red as well as and begins to look like a fox. Tanjiro seemingly losing control over the senses he once held. Let her go right now. He charges forward, almost hitting Tomioka, but he is able to dodge out of the way, knocking Tanjiro out. This, this kid, he, he has the nine-tailed fox? When Tanjiro wakes up, Tomioka explains to him that there is a beast living within him that many, that many know as the nine-tailed fox. It is said that the fox gets sealed away into different people. Who can, who can contain its power? Tanjiro Kamado. You are the Nine-Tails Jinchuriki. What? How, how, how do you even know that? I, I, I thought this was just like in my head or something. It's not just in your head. You are a vessel for that, for that, that tailed beast. And the only reason why I know that, Tomioka lifts his, his shirt to reveal markings around his belly button and stomach. Because I am the vessel for what people call the, th the three-tailed beast. But by, the, but by the name of Isobu. Tomioka explains that he still struggles to maintain the power of this tailed beast. But that he, he has built a semi-decent relationship with it over this long period of time. He explains that someone else was supposed to actually inherit this power within him. But unfortunately, he died before they could fulfill that duty. He tells Tanjiro, not only do you need to protect your sister, but learn how to use this power within you, because it is said that the nine-tailed beast has hatred for humans with no bounds. He then tells him to go to the mountains to meet Urukodaki, his former master and teacher, and that he should try to get, to get there before sundown, so that this power does not reveal itself once again until he is ready. Tanjiro takes Nezuko getting a basket for her and heading up the mountain to Urukodaki. And as told by Tomioka, he rushes to make it before the sun went down, making it just in time. Urukodaki greets him and Tanjiro begins to tell him about the nine-tailed fox. But Urukodaki tells him that he knows the situation and that he needs, he needs to not only begin his training in becoming a demon slayer, but also to work to control this tailed beast. You and Tomioka, you and Tomioka say control it, but I, I can't, can I, can I not just befriend it? Isn't that the best way? The fox is living in my body. Yes, young Tanjiro, that would be the best way, but it's not that easy of a task. For now, we will train you in, in terms of your own best capabilities and just like how i trained tomioka in the way of controlling his tailed beast i will do the same for you the training begins just like nor just like normal for tanjiro but whenever he gets hurt he actually is able to heal a lot quicker allowing him allowing for him to continue training for even longer and after some time tanjiro begins to learn water breathing but seemingly can't use the breathing style and has been struggling with it immensely one night, though, he enters his mindscape once again, and Kurama begins to talk. Tanjiro Kamado, you won't be able to channel water with me here. What? Why not? Because I refuse to let it. Water doesn't mix well with my fire. So what then? What do I do? You figure that out for yourself. Can't have you dying on me just yet. Tanjiro wakes up 
and tells Urukodaki that this water breathing won't work anytime soon. He asks why, and Tanjo explains what happened, and that the dyed tailed fox refuses to let water breathing clash with his natural fire. Urukodaki then decides that maybe controlling the fox and learning to use breathing it's more that is more comfortable with may allow for Tanjiro to use breathing techniques based around the nine-tailed beast. For the next year, he began to try and control the nine-tails. He was able to get somewhat used to the power of the nine-tails, but when the power slips from him or even gets overridden with doubt, Tanjiro, well, has a high likelihood of just losing control. After finishing his training, he was able to create breathing styles that relate to the power of the nine-tailed fox, called Breath of the Fox. Tanjiro currently only having three forms that he has created because of the lack of connection and control with the nine-tails. Also, whenever he overexerts his breathing style, Kurama can begin to take over Tanjiro. The day then came for the final test. For Tanjiro to slice a boulder in half, he walks up to the boulder and summoning some of the power from the nine-tailed fox is able to slice the boulder with ease. The next day he is then sent off to the final selection and when he arrives he begins to smell something. <sighs> he smells another tailed beast? Kurama then begins to speak within him. I know you smell that kid. Are we on talking terms now or? I just had nothing to tell you until now. At the end of the day, I am a monster, right? But I never... The two girls from the final selection then begin to explain what will occur. That you must live seven days in this demon-filled forest. The final selection then starts and Tanjiro com comes across his first demon. Demon, I have a question for you. Can I change a demon back into a human the demon so hungry refuses to even answer and tries to kill Tanjiro but once Tanjiro realizes that these demon tr demons truly knew nothing he decided against even asking more questions breath of the fox first form scorched earth Tanjiro's sword lights on fire and he waves it above his head and the blaze shows the face of the nine-tailed fox. The demon's eyes then looks in complete fear as the reflection of Kurama bounces from him. Tanjiro then slashes the demon's head off. And in the distance, Tanjiro get, then hears very loud footsteps walking to someone screaming. Come here, kid. Make this easy on me. Demon, leave him alone. <laughs> Wait, that mask. <laughs> You're one of her Kodaki's brats, huh? Basically free dinner for me. Even that kid with the scar on his face couldn't beat me. <laughs> and the little and the little one. <laughs> she died with ease as well. Tanjiro then remembers what Tomioka said in the past about someone else being worthy of being the vessel of an Isobu, but died in battle. Tanjiro pulls out his sword as a red cloak covers his body with two tails at the end. Tanjiro then pulls out his sword as a red cloak covers his body with three tails at the end. Three tails, but I'm not losing control? Yeah, kid. I may hate humans, but demons are even worse for this world, and I despise them even more. Don't let me helping you get to your head. I still don't like either of you. Thank you, Ninetales. Tanjiro charges at the hand demon. Breath of the Fox. Second form. Serrated strike slicing through the demon's neck with ease and the fire begins to burn the demon to a crisp 
The rest of the days go by relatively easy for Tanjiro. He decides that he should limit how much of the fox's output he uses. Because he never truly knows if the usage of the power without being prepared will hurt him in the long run. The final selection then finishes and there's only four other people standing and waiting. There's that smell again. So one of these people must be a vessel. The two little girls appear once again explaining that is it is time to pick your choice of ore. A boy walks up grabbing one of their heads but Tanjiro quickly makes him stop. After picking his ore with his keen sense of smell he heads back down the mountain. When Tanjiro made it down the mountain, he arrives during the night and sees Nezuko, his sister, awake once again. Nezuko! I'm so happy you're awake. I'm so happy you're okay. Her Kodaki, Tanjiro, and Nezuko all embrace in a hug and go back into his house. Or Kodaki then explains to Tanjiro that his sword will be, become, will be, will be coming very soon. And he can finally go out on his first mission as a demon slayer. The day came, and so did the sword. When Tanjiro touched the sword, it began to turn a dark red color. The swordsmith's reaction was pure excitement, but Rokodaki and Tanjiro were not very surprised at the occurrence. After getting a box from Urokodaki and saying his final farewells, he heads out to his first mission. To go check out a town where, woman, where women were seemingly being taken. When he arrived, he saw a man getting berated and hit by another man. Tanjiro steps in and asks the man what happened. The man explains that his wife was taken at night while she was just right next to him. Tanjiro begins to sniff around trying to catch the scent of the demon in question. As night approached, he finally was able to smell a demon. The demon hops out of a portal confronting Tanjiro and begins to speak until a voice can be heard from, a, from behind the building. No reason to fight, little swamp demon. I've been personally sent to dispose of this demon slayer myself. The swamp demon quickly runs away. The demon begins to introduce himself. My name is Kaigaku. Why do you have a sword? Are you a wielder of breathing as well? Well, aren't you a quick one? Yes, yes I am. But why tell you when I can show you? Thunder breathing, fourth form, distant thunder. Several lightning strikes come flying at Tondro and he's barely able to dodge. Whispering to Nezuko to stay in the box that this demon is way too dangerous for her to come out. Breath of the Fox, third form, tailed beast. A red cloak covers Tondro with three tails and the two begin to clash. So Master was right. The power of a tailed beast is something to be reckoned with. I now know why he wants yours. The fight continues and Tondro asks Kaigaku something. How do you even know about the nine-tailed fox within me? And are you talking about Muzon? <laughs> yes, yes I am. The power of a tailed beast makes a human so strong. But imagine what it would do for a demon. I was stripped from that opportunity of having, having one. But just because of some dumb yellow-haired brat... But he wants your tailed beast, so I will comply. Thunder breathing, sixth form, rumble and flash. In a distant area, far, far away. Kaka, kaka! Young Tanjiro is currently fighting the upper six demon Ka Kaigaku. Young Tanjiro is currently fighting the upper six demon Kaigaku. The fight then rages on, and his own mindscape. You see, Tanjiro Kamado, people like him are the reason why I hate this world. His craving for power 
has led him to becoming a demon. Tanjiro and his mindscape begins to shed a tear. You truly aren't bad, Kurama. I just wish people would have treated you better. Whatever, kid. We're here now. I will be giving you more of my power. Don't overdo it. Your body may be sore after this. Tanjiro then begins to form a fourth tail. And he begins to scream. As the lightning hits him, it disappears into thin air. What the hell? What kind of power is this? Tanjiro's power begins to send shockwaves toward everything around him. Until everything began to feel calm. He looks up to see his whole family in front of him. Tanjiro, you can control it. We know you can. There is a reason why you have the nine-tailed fox in the first place. Tanjiro falls to the ground with tears in his eyes and begins to stand. In a blink of an eye, Tanjiro charges in. Breath of the fox, first form, scorched earth. Kaigaku barely dodges out of the way in complete shock. He then looks behind Tanjiro to see another person jumping in. Kaigaku, how could you? Why would you? Zenitsu, you know exactly why I did it. Gramps killed himself because of what you did. Because of you. Tanjiro turns, realizing that this kid is the same kid that Kaigaku was talking about. You killed him. It was your fault. It wouldn't have happened if he just gave me the tailed beast. It doesn't matter anymore. Because I'm here to defeat you. Zenitsu's arm and half of his face begins to transform into a sand looking creature and he stands in and he stands in a running like form thunder breathing first form thunder clap and flash their fight rages on as Tanjiro stands there in shock of the unraveling of what just occurred but he gathers his thoughts and he joins the fight as well they begin to start winning the fight but are still struggling to keep up with Kaigaku's durability until three other demon slayers come jumping in from the distance. Kaigaku decides to retreat and Zenitsu and Tanjiro then pass out because of their overusage of their tailed beasts. Tanjiro wakes up in front of all the Hashira as Shinobu walks up to him. We have a question for you young Tanjiro. Why are you carrying around a demon? What? No, she's my sister. She is a demon. Tanjiro looks around and tells them that she has never even heard a human. The when Hashira grabs the box in question and stabs it. In a fit of rage, Tanjiro activates the three-tailed cloak and kicks the Hashira away and gets ready to battle. The master then arrives though and the when Hashira forces Tanjiro down. To basically bow. The master, after some testing of Nezuko, concludes that she will be allowed to serve as a demon slayer, and Tomioka, Urokodaki, and Tanjiro will give their own lives if she ever eats a human being. Tanjiro is then brought to the infirmary, but in a short while he is fully healed because of the tail beast inside of him. He begins his training and, well, rehabilitation, rehabilitation as well. But comes across this idea as well that that if they use concentration breathing constantly, it will basically increase their power immensely and maybe even control. His training begins and after not too long, he got the hang of it. And one day, Tomioka enters the infirmary where Zenitsu and Tanjiro were at. Hello, Tanjiro. Zenitsu. They both say hello back and he continues. I would like to train you both. To use the power you currently hold. I know this power is extremely new to both of you. So learning this power should be top priority. They both pretty excited start their training. Their training involves contacting and talking to their respective tailed beasts. And also meditation that would basically allow them to rise more and more, more of the power. Without actually losing control. The training continued for a bit and Zenitsu even meets Nezuko while she crawls out of her box one night 
and he tries to beat up Tanjiro for not telling him that he was carrying around a girl. Zenitsu eventually began to control his sand that his tailed beast can utilize, learning his name to be Shukaku. Tanjiro, on the other hand, is struggling to gain more power than he originally already had because of how far he has gotten with Kurama so far. So, he was actually able to just create another form of his Breath of the Fox style called Breath of the Fox, fourth form wasteland, in which he can surround a certain area and change it into a fiery and wasteland type of environment. Tanjiro ended... Training ended a bit early because of both Zenitsu and Tanjiro getting called to a mountain in which was said that many Demon Slayers were entering but actually never coming out. When they arrived, the forest seemed eerie and they entered to see a Demon Slayer in complete panic. Please, the Demon Slayers, help! They head into the forest to see all the Demon Slayers on strings, to, about to try and fight them both. Tanjiro begins to smell something, something similar to Kaigaku. Tanjiro then using Breath of the Fox, fourth form, wasteland. He's able to basically be rid of all the strings and will basically melt to the strings with the heat and tells Zenitsu, you need to go forward and defeat the demon that is controlling these, these other demon slayers. I have another scent. I'm going that way. Zenitsu nods and heads off in the direction. Tanjiro then comes across a demon yelling at his sister. Be useful to me, and you could truly be part of my family. But if you're not useful, I will be rid of you. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, I will be useful, I promise. The female demon then runs away. That's your sister? And you talk to her like that? Why? Well, Demon Slayer, let me introduce myself. My name is Rui, and you are intruding on my family, my forest, so now it's time for you to die. Rui using his strings to attack Tanjiro, but Tanjiro melts them away with ease. Why? Why? Why would you even treat your sister like that? How could you call her useless? The fight truly begins, and Tanjiro has Rui on the back foot for the majority of the time. Tanjiro keeps charging forward, and even when Rui uses his blood demon art, Tanjiro is able to push through them. Rui then sets a trap, and the strings begin to close in on Tanjiro from behind, slicing into Nezuko's box on his back. She jumps out of the box, cut up pretty badly, and gets strung up. Rui then slices into her, and even begins to cut her neck. Scoffing at Tanjiro, thinking that he can actually protect his little sister. Tanjiro, in a fit of rage, charges at him, and his whole body becomes a dark red color, and he's just unrecognizable. He roars like a wild animal, and begins to just beat down Rui. Not even slicing his head off, just beating him down into submission. Until finally... He takes his sword, slicing his head off. The forest, though, continues to be destroyed by Tanjiro. The ground shaking, shock waves everywhere, and more and more tails form, all the way up to six tails. Until a young demon, until a young female demon slayer comes, kicking Tanjiro on the head so hard that it knocks him out cold. Kid, kid, whatever hit us. That hurt like hell, and it looks like some innocent girl. Kurama, I, I have no clue, no idea what even happened. You use too much power, and we aren't fully linked yet. Oh well, yeah, I know that makes sense, but Tanjiro wakes up and sees a girl walk in. Tanjiro, that's her, the one that kicked us. Really? She she seems so innocent nope nope it, it's her i swear tanjiro tries to talk to her and she doesn't respond but then she pulls out a coin and um the coin lands on heads after she flips it she responds saying that she had to knock him out and that it was it was 
basically just by order. So she did so. Tanjiro questions the whole by order stuff and she says that she doesn't care about anything so she either just flips a coin or follows orders. After talking a bit, Tanjiro grabs the coin and tells her that if it lands on heads, she must listen to her heart. He flips it and it lands on heads. He grabs her, he grabs her hands and tells her to listen to her heart and that it will grow in size as she listens. In complete shock, she like questions him and he's and basically is like, wait, like, how is that even possible? Like, how, how'd you know it's going to land there? And he he basically says that it was just by chance, but he would have have just kept flipping it until it landed on heads. He then ran outside hearing Zenitsu arguing with somebody. I heard I heard that there was somebody here that was super strong with a fox and I heard he was tearing up the forest. I want to meet him. What? He's in recovery. I'm not going to let you see him until like stop being dumb. Tondra walks out and sees a demon slayer wearing a boar mask. I think you're looking for me. Yes, the man with the fox within him. Conjuro Tomado, right? That that's not my name, but close enough, I guess. Um, what do you need? Fight me! Why? Why would I fight you? I want to show you that I am strong without any mis mystical creature's assistance. Okay, I'm not going to fight you. I'm supposed to have a mission soon. But if you come with me in Zenitsu, I will fight you after. But also, what's your name? Hmm, I don't even know what my name is. You can just call me Inosuke. Yeah, sounds like a name of a leader. As he says this, a crow flies in, telling them to head toward a train to assist the Hashira in an investigation. They head together to the train, and when they arrive, Inosuke wants to fight the trade, and Tanjiro thinks that maybe it's some mythical creature of the land. Zenitsu then tells them that it's just the train, and they enter. They begin, they begin looking for Rengoku until they come across a cart. Delicious! 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 Rengoku, uh, I, I'm Tanjiro. I wanted to ask you some things. Rengoku immediately tells them to not worry and that he will make them all his apprentices. apprentices. But Tanjiro finally asks him if he knows anything about more about Kurama, the nine-tailed fox within him. Rangoku then explains the story of the tailed beast, but doesn't know much more beyond that. After finishing their conversation, lights begin to flicker, and two demons appear. But as, as quick as they appear, they disappear. Rengoku eliminates them with relative ease, and the three of them begin to beg to become his apprentices. And of course, he says yes. Some time, some time passes, and a worker comes by and asks to stamp everyone's tickets. He does so when everyone passes out and begins to dream. Tanjiro seemingly waking up in a snowy area. Big brother, big brother, you're back. What? I, I am? Yeah, I, I mean, you are here. Tanjiro follows his little brother into the house, and the family sits and talks for a while. Tanjiro happy to see his family, but then feels something odd. Young Tanjiro, I'm sorry, but this isn't real. I wanted to let you see this for a while. Before I had to pull you out, of the demon's dream state. But this family is just a dream. Tanjiro sheds a tear and then wakes up. Wakes up from the dream by Kurama activating his cloak state. Tanjiro looks and sees these little kids entering and trying to stab at him, but he knocks them out quickly. He jumps he jumps <clears throat> he jumps out out of the cart heading toward the demon. Why, 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 why would you exit my beautiful dream? You had everything, your family, all back once again. It wasn't real. And frankly, I would rather live with my family in my heart than in a fake reality 
where they were, they were alive. How pitiful, you dumb demon slayer. Tanjo charges forward, and the demon tries to put him to sleep. But for some reason, it isn't working. Breath of the Fox, second form, serrated slash, slicing the demon's head off. But the demon doesn't die. As the demon dissolves, it seemingly just dissolves into the train. But the train just begins to shake violently. Zen he turns around. And Zenitsu begins to transform into Shukaku. Breaking through the carts. Tanjiro turns realizing that they are in some deep stuff right now. We need to get everyone out now. Tanjiro begins to see Inosuke and Rengoku evacuating people. Well, I guess they are one step ahead of me. I will, be ta I will be taking my leave as well then. Tanjiro jumps down, and using his cloak form, he begins to slow down the train. And Shukaku, Shukaku using a tailed beast bomb, destroys the train, and also killing the demon inside. Rengoku then jumps up, waking up Zenitsu, forcing him to de-transform. Zenitsu lays there completely out cold. How, how, how did he do that? That was so cool. I'll do it better. Tanjiro jumps down and tells him that he it's literally impossible for him to do that. But that was impressive. Demon Upper 3, Akaza. Rangoku turns and tells all of them to back up and that this demon is nothing like they've seen before. Tanjiro tells him that he can help, but he refuses. Rangoku begins his fight and they seem even. But Akaza is able to slowly turn the tide of the battle because of his regeneration. We need to help him. I need to help him. He will die. Red Goku will die. Tanjiro. I told you. We weren't exactly linked yet. But. I think I'm ready to share my true power with you. After what I saw. In your dream, you have suffered just like me. I said it before, I hate humans, but I hate demons even more. Tanjiro's body begins to change. The, the once red cloak now turned his own clothing into this yellow and black colored clothing, making his sword a bright yellow color as well. Kurama, is this your true power? No, Tachiro Kamado. This is our power. Now don't let him die. Rengoku, as a last-ditch effort, begins to say, When things seem hopeless, when you feel like giving up, and nothing is going your way, set your heart ablaze, and push forward! Tanjiro, standing beside him, begins to say, I couldn't agree more. They both charge in at Akaza, overwhelming him with the power they both are, both are outputting. Tanjiro, you must make this quick. This form is not very stable. I can tell, Kurama. Thank you. Breath of the Fox, fourth form, wasteland. The area around him lights ablaze. And they seemingly have Akaz on the ropes until lightning comes charging in, cutting Rengoku slightly and separating the fight. Kaigaku joins the battle. Sorry, you can't die just yet, Akaza. We need to get the, these tailed beasts, and fighting to the death here is not the way to do so. Direct orders from Muzan himself. What? No, let me fight! Look up, the sun is coming. The demons then decide to run off to avoid the sun as Rengoku collapses. Tanjiro, go touch Rengoku on the shoulder and focus on his wounded areas. Tanjiro does this and heals Rengoku and all his fatal wounds. Rengoku in shock realizes that this kid may be stronger than most of the Hashira. That maybe with his tailed beast, they can beat moves on and that is the end 
of this what if movie jesus christ my voice hurts really bad from that quote-unquote kurama impression god i didn't think it would be that bad i forgot how many lines i actually put of kurama in this but hey everything's worth it and i'm glad um i had a lot of fun with this what if i really hope you guys enjoyed this what if like i said in the comments below like put that you want the want me to go into the manga and if i see that there's a bunch of people saying that they want me to go into the manga i'll do it make sure to hit that like button hit the subscribe button we're almost at 200 or 2000 subscribers super hyped about it let's go baby like we are grinding and i've been trying my best to output as many videos as possible but i also want them to be of good quality and good story writing and that honestly takes a while so i'm really sorry about that but i, I try my best to speed up the process but um i obviously don't want to make poor um scripts and stuff like that because i really want to i want you all to enjoy what i'm saying and what i'm what i'm presenting but yeah um also i'm gonna plug it i usually plug it at the end of my videos there is a join membership button below um completely optional five dollars a month supports me i mean you support me by liking and commenting and subscribing anyways so it doesn't really matter to me if you join or don't join but that's like a little extra thing if you were feeling super super generous go hit that join button i literally would appreciate that so much but um yeah like i said if you enjoyed make sure to, that to say that you want that manga and if i get enough comments i'll do it it's that simple and yeah i think that's it i'm not gonna waste any more of your time and um i really hope you guys enjoyed like i said and i hope you guys have an amazing day later